What's going on, Dolphins? It is your boy Dylan. I am back with you for another one. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick hit. Uh, there's not really a you know whole lot to talk about, um, and you know part of the reason why is because uh, you know obviously a lot of the media is gonna be just talking shit today, so I'm not even really bothering to you know read it. Uh, you know I try not to. I try not to you know allow uh too much negativity in my life like i don't mind you know i i like i like that that people doubt us i like us having a chip on the shoulder and the team you know has been using that up to this point uh to their benefit except for you know obviously yesterday but um you know this last you know this last game uh as you all know you know it it sucks it stings it hurts um you know, so there's going to be, a, you know, a little bit of, you know, um, I don't know, healing time, I guess you could say, you know. So we'll take that and, you know, the team's getting ready to move on to the next game to Cincy. You know, of course, all's not lost. It's one game. You know, it, it certainly was ugly and, um, you know, there was a lot of disappointment that came from it and so on and so forth but at the end of the day you know it is what it is there's nothing that we can do about it they can't do anything about it now it is what it is except for you know just be better in the future so you know I have faith in this coaching staff and this team um, and you know you just you just gotta let it you just gotta let it be what it is I mean this is, you know, as as a as a diehard fan, this is one of those hard things um, in life. You know, I mean, and think about it. Um, you know, take like the Browns for example. The past couple years, I mean, it must have been absolutely miserable, you know, to be a Browns fan. You know, worse than what we felt. You know, what we feel now with this loss. You know, because I mean, that's just, you know. It's got to be devastating, you know, it's got to be absolutely devastating to, to people who, you know, have such a, you know, an emotional connection, you know, to the team and everything. And I get that, you know, I mean, we've been just kind of middle of the road for the past couple decades. We haven't particularly been that shitty, you know, but it's hard for us because, you know, as Dolphins fans, you know, Dolphins, the Dolphins franchise has a pretty rich history and, uh, you know, especially the older fans certainly got used to that and they want, you know, more, you know, and then us younger fans like me, most of my life, they've been bad or, you know, not very good at the least. So, you know, we want we want to see something. And when we get ho our hopes up and they get dashed in the way that they did yesterday, it hurts. You know, it stings. It stings real bad. Um, but like I said, it is what it is. And for me, you know, and to what it means to be a die-hard fan, you know, a true fan, a you know, bleed, aqua and orange kind of fan is is no matter what, you always stick with them. So, you know, I mean, you know, I'm I'm an honest, you know, and real person. So I will talk about the things. You know, obviously there was a lot that we didn't do right. You know, and a lot of things that we need to clean up, and you know, so on and so forth you know and, and again not to and I'll only say it just this one time here but you know not to use it as an excuse but you know the officiating was maddening right it was just just to just to get the point across or you know I mean I know you guys understand but it was just maddening you know I'm not trying to you know like I said I'm not trying to start some conspiratorial thing saying that they were paid or that they're specifically against us even though sometimes it does feel that way um you know, uh, it, it was just it was just maddening because I mean when you look at when you actually look at the penalties and and you see it on the replay and everything I mean it's just there's nothing there, it's, so it's just it's frustrating and it's especially in in a moment where for us you know that was supposed to be a game where finally you know and and. It was it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen, man. And it, I, I mean, I don't know. It 
it just it really it really seemed that way you know it really finally felt like like that was it man and going into that game i mean it, it couldn't have been more perfect you know and and like i said i mean that doesn't necessarily even mean anything you know we could we could end up you know beating the jets at home beating them at home even beating the patriots at home later in the year you know we could sweep the bills still go five and one in the division we could still end up having you know 12 and four record like i've been you know predicting you know we could still win the the afc east and you know whatever go to the playoffs right all those things are still possible i'm not saying that it's lost but that game in particular because it just it felt like it felt like it was time you know it was felt it felt like it was time for us to go in and to to dethrone the patriots you know if you will and to and to finally you know take our our rightful place back at the at the top of the division and you know ever all the momentum and everything going into the game you know it just it would have been perfect to go in there and you know I kind of felt like there was a there was a bit of me you know I didn't want to say just as much as I didn't want to talk about you know my fears over the officiating uh, you know um, going to be a problem in that game because I didn't want to focus on it the same goes for why I didn't want to talk about the fact that I had a feeling that we were gonna do that to them right like we were gonna go in there and we were just gonna completely stomp them basically shut them out right like I did there was a bit of me that I felt like this is not only the time but we're gonna go in there and we are gonna make such a statement to the world and it that's part of what made the whole thing so frustrating you know and like I said I am fair so I'm not saying we played a perfect game I'm not saying there weren't mistakes absolutely but when you look at the game and you look at everything that unfolded right because a lot of the stuff that happened you know later into the second quarter and you know into the second half and stuff like that was a direct result of uh, obviously the stuff that happened earlier in the game and really right from the jump it was the officiating and they just made such terrible calls they were you know they we start the first play of the game is a 22 yard pass to kenny stills we're moving the ball and then all of a sudden we get a penalty and it was nothing it was nothing kills our drive we give it to them we stop them on a third down they're gonna punt but up uh, another bullshit call and just right from the jump off this uh, you know right off the bat it, it just it became that game you know my 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 i had my worst fear and my greatest hope going into that game my worst fear was that the officials were going to call stupid shit that ended up that's what cost the game you know people can say what they want they can talk about how you know there wasn't execution there were mistakes made blah 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 but if you're being real to me if you're being realistic about how that game game played out it was it was literally that because that's how you know that's how the game started and that's that's what caused the the entire and and frankly it didn't really stop they continued doing it throughout the game and yes of course they called penalties on the patriots as well sure they did and there were some good ones and i like i said i admit that they um called a couple on them that they shouldn't have called because i'm fair about that but again if you're just being realistic it, they never called a penalty on the patriots when it mattered never not one time in the game right they called like one or the, a couple of their penalties were on special teams they had three penalties in one play so two of those just got completely negated right and then the last one you know i think that set them on you know first and 10 or first and 20 okay and uh you know i don't know maybe they punted maybe they they ended up getting it anyway i don't know i don't recall right so there was that but and you know like i said there were definitely things that we didn't do right but when you look at it especially in the very beginning of the game right those three that i had mentioned specifically you know the 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 uh holding on 
Kilgore on our first drive. We're moving the ball, we're getting a rhythm going, and then they they hit us with it. And it, you know, like I said, you look at the film, there was nothing there, no call. You know, even the commenter or commentators said it again in this game. You know, about a couple of these penalties, and um, you know, so that that kicks us back, and then you know. We're not able to do anything, we punt. You know, that happened on a couple of our other drives. You know, in that first half, they did the same thing. They called some bullshit penalties that killed our drives. And then their, the very first two drives the Patriots had, the very first 10 points they got, for sure, they shouldn't have gotten. We stop them on third down, they call a holding penalty on Xavier uh, Howard. You look at the replay, you look at the film, absolutely nothing there but it gives the Patriots the ball fresh set of downs and they've advanced uh, yardage because of the penalty right so fresh set of downs they make their way downfield we stop them again hold them to a field goal okay cool right so despite the the bullshit call we we still do all right the defense holds and we get a field goal but then the very next drive same thing stop them on third down when they're you know backed up when they're you know uh, early in their drive so they're still deep in their own end zone or in their on their side right third down we stop them up oh, penalty on Xavier Howard again it wasn't a holding call or a pass interference call though this time it was a uh, illegal contact but you look at the the film nothing there gives the Patriots more life advances the ball again gives them a first down oh and guess what this time they get a, a touchdown and it was like that throughout the whole first half the whole first half and into the second half so you know like I said I'm, I'm not trying to get all conspiratorial but when you have when you have situations like that right like because people will sit there and try and argue oh well they called penalties on them yes but did any of those penalties actually make a difference in the game right did they do anything right so they called a couple special teams penalties on them they called three in one play so you know regardless of what happens two of those penalties automatically just get negated right and then you they get a couple late in the game when they're winning 31 to fucking zero none of those penalties actually make any kind of difference in the outcome of the game but the penalties that you continuously call that and 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 it and the thing is too is it matters whether it was a legit penalty or not right of course that matters so you call a bunch of penalties that kill several of our drives right and there were some there were some that were legit especially as the as the game went on you know going into the second half because things are getting you know there's so much pressure mounting right you know and so of course mistakes are going to be made you know in situ especially then because you're you know we had to sub guys in you know and and backups started coming in right for various reasons not just you know injury but also because uh, you know, we were getting our asses handed to us. So obviously mistakes are going to be made, you know, like that. But all of the, you know, a, a good portion, at least I'd say a third or a half of the, the penalties that they called on us were complete bullshit. And several of them were during at moments at, at, at key moments of the game key moments of the game like I said man you know so people sit there and try and argue well they call penalty yes but none of that shit mattered none of that actually did anything in the game none of it none of it it's ridiculous it's ridiculous none of that changed the outcome whatsoever the penalties that got called on the Patriots none of them but like I said a good portion of the penalties that got called on us made a huge difference you know they took they took big plays away from us you know they took you know stops they took you know they killed drives and so anyway I mean it's frustrating you know it really is and it was supposed to be man that was supposed to be our time and I don't know I don't know anyway so I mean at the end of the day, like I said, there's, you know, there's nothing that we can do about it. You know, we have to, we have to support our team. So at, 
that's the bottom line. I, I went on another <laughs> bit of a rant here. I'm sorry, guys. It tends to... I, I do that. I talk a lot. I guess I'm made for stuff like this. Um, but, uh, I mean, we just... We have to... We cannot... You know, no matter what happens, if you call yourself a true fan, like I call myself a true fan, we have to stick with them. We, we have to... You know, it's... It's good to to some degree to get fr to get frustrated and angry, right? Because, you know, well, for one thing, it's not good to hold, you know, negative emotions inside. So definitely try to release them constructively. Don't punch a door like I did. I'm pretty sure I'm fractured my hand a little bit. Um, it's not good. So don't do things like that. Be constructive about it. Um, I know that's a little hypocritical, but at least I can recognize that. So <laughs> learn from that if if you're the kind of person that gets, you know, very emotional and and whatever, you know. But anyway, it can be good when, you know, uh, as far as things like, you know, letting the organization know how we feel, you know, it's good to communicate those emotions to the organization and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's good to express those, those emotions, but, but do it constructively. Um, but you know, it, it can, it can be, uh, you know, a burden and a very bad thing. So, you know, we, but at the end of the day, we can't let those things rule us right we can't allow those negative emotions to even even if we were in a situation like the browns where they're just winless for two straight years right you can't ever right because that's your team you know i mean it's like your family you know you can't choose your family although you choose your team but i'm saying like once to me what a diehard fan once they've chosen their team that's their team for life and uh you know you just you gotta support them you gotta be there and you gotta give them your your positive vibes so as fans you know let's let's take our time right now and like i said go ahead you know I, i'm gonna do my spiel in a minute but get in the comment section let's talk to each other you know let's vent to each other let's let's you know discuss it amongst ourselves so on and so forth let's get it out there but let's be constructive about it let's not break our hands you know um or whatever and like i said i'm fine but i'm pretty sure i do got a couple little fractures in there somewhere but i'll be all right i'm all right i'm a, I'm a tough guy um i can handle it uh but you know, I got to be better with that too, for sure. I, I know that. You know, I, I can't be, <laughs> I can't be doing things like that, even in those moments. So I'm, I'm working on that. You know, I got my weaknesses and my flaws. I, I recognize that. But anyway, um, you know, get in the comments section. Let's talk about it. Let's be there for each other and let's support each other, right? And that's, and that's ultimately the thing, right? You know, it's, it's, it's about the community. It's about coming together. You know, let's not, cause all. You know, all anger and hatred and stuff like that does is divide people, right? And and cause more problems. So let's get it out. Let's feel it all now. Let's let's say what we gotta say. And then, you know, just like the team, just like Adam Gay says in his press conference that he did today, which you'll see here in a minute, you know, we, we gotta we gotta reset. We got a blanket and we gotta move on. We got Cincy this week. You know, that's going to be a good game. It's a game we should be able to win, even though, you know, we are on the road. So, you know, let's let's have faith in this squad and this coaching staff and this team. And, you know, that they will get these corrections made. They will bounce back and they will, you know, play much better. They will have a much better game. And, you know, we can come away with this W and then, you know, go back home. I think our next game after that's a home game. Don't even know who, honestly um at the moment but go home with you know another w take us to four and one keep us moving in the right direction um anyway so with that said guys uh i am gonna have gase's interview for you let's see my hands wrapped i got it wrapped with a gauze on it anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and get gase's interview for you um you know, so if, if you like my videos, if you enjoy the content, you know, if you are a diehard fan, if you want to get in this community and help me grow this community, you know, this is all for you guys and for me too, obviously, because I enjoy it. And this is, 
you know it's an outlet for me and stuff like that as well and it gives me an opportunity to 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 connect into the community so it's great i love it i love doing it you know uh but it is for you guys mostly and i appreciate everything that uh you know all the input you guys give me all the support you give me and stuff like that so look help me continue to grow it you know if you like this stuff if you like me and my videos uh you know hit the subscribe button uh share it with your friends and family if you want to get the alerts hit the bell you know um hit the like button i appreciate that too uh and again you know leave your questions comments concerns um with that i'll see y'all soon Keep your heads up, doll fans. Things are going to get better. I know it hurts, but fins up. We'll do it this week. Things corrected. You know, a lot of things get corrected, but that's what happens. You play a good team, and you make, make mistakes that you can't make against this team. Coach, what were you disappointed the most in by your team? I mean, you guys went in there, you know, obviously pumped up. And I, think, I think just getting out physical. And then, you know, we didn't we didn't execute things pro the way we needed to. We didn't adjust the way we needed to. We just didn't. Nothing. Nothing was good. When you get up physical, how correctable is that? Well, since it ha hasn't happened, the last three games. I mean, we we just have to do a better job of fundamentals and just making sure we don't get caught up emotionally in the game and just focus on what our job is, and then we give ourselves a better chance. You have to tell the guys much of the leaders of the team that guys know that we got out physical and that can't happen on a regular basis. Do you lean on some of the guys like Cam Wake and so I mean, those guys know. I mean, this is an, it's no secret. Like, they, I mean, we didn't sugar hold a whole bunch today, so. The, uh, How close were uh, Rashad and Devontae from Park playing yesterday? Do you project them as far as likely to play next time? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out during the week, but. Uh, they didn't play. It doesn't matter how close they were or not. As you look about why the uh, run game didn't get going, was it blocking primarily, or did the backs leave anything on the field? Do you think? I think it was just combination of of what they were doing. We didn't execute right. We probably missed a couple of opportunities. Just nothing. Nothing went right. Nothing. Nothing we did was good. It was just. It's just not. It was not a good game. Can you elaborate why Juwan didn't play? Yeah, I mean, I didn't. For me, it wasn't a performance-based thing. I, I think he he got pretty banged up in the game, and we got to the point where we put Sam in there. So same thing we did with Ryan. I mean, Ryan was taking a pretty good beating, and after he got bent back on the one, that probably freaked me out a little bit. To where I started thinking, what what, what are we going what are we doing? So. It was it was good to get Brock in there too, and and just kind of get him in a, in a live action game. So that was one of those ones where my gut's saying get him out of there, and you know he's trying to talk me and leave him in there. And Dal did a good job of reinforcing that this was the right thing to do. With the, with the receivers, uh, in fact, receivers and tight ends, was there any issue you think in terms of separation? Were they just not open for large chunks of the game? Well, I don't. Danny and Jakeem were open the whole game. So, I mean, we had times where we were open on certain things. It's just we nothing was clicking as far as we're open, pass protection. Pass protection is good, we're not open. So. You know, they, they fell into a couple things with some of the stuff we did, which they did a good job on scheme-wise and, and just guys being disciplined in what they were doing, the misdirection stuff they did a really good job on. So, you know, it's it's just – it was just a not ongoing something different each time. So it wasn't – what a consistent pattern. You talked a lot about how uh, with the makeup of this team that you have now, you feel like when the water waters get rough, you're confident in how they respond. What, what do you expect to see from the players this week? We'll come back to work Wednesday. I mean, they're not going to cancel the season. You know, we're three and one. We we're out of the first quarter. The thing is, we got to reset zero and zero. So that's why today's always the toughest. Because I mean, you're everybody's brutally honest, and you're going to have conflict, and you're going to have some back and forth, and you know, guys. I mean, they put a lot into this game. Same thing with coaches. So. It's it's an emotional game. Today's an emotional day, and then once you get past today, you move on to the to the next opponent. 
Tuesday you get ready, and then when you come Wednesday, guys reset, they go back to work, and then you forget about the last week. Do you like what you've seen today, or is it too specific? It's, it's, it's quiet today. I mean, guys are – I mean, it's, it's a bad feeling. When you get, when you get drummed – in a division division rivals stadium, that's just not not something you like to experience, and you're you're pissed. You can't do anything about it now. Jordan Phillips, I guess, was on the side of yesterday. I guess because I wasn't there, but because maybe you rotated out of the game, do you want guys who? Well, there's a reason why we're doing that. There's a reason why we're subbing the way we're subbing right. against that team. So it's and it's not a secret why we're doing it. So whatever Chris Kasarik wants us wants the D line to do, that's what we're doing. Adam, how do you take a look at uh, the season right now? You guys are three and one. You had an ugly loss. Does that loss cloud the the, the first quarter of the season? How, how do you? Just, that's that's all. all. That's all anybody remembers. That's why this league's what it is. It's up and down every week. If if you win, I mean everything's great. You lose, it's like you lost ten games. You know, that's just the way it is, and that's why you just got to reset, get going again. But despite that narrative, how do you look at it? Right? I mean, we're moving on to the next one, and once we hit Wednesday, and then our job's to win that one. You know, we'll, we'll go back through the season in 2019. Like, right now, we're in the middle of it. We just got to figure out a way to win a game. I did Travis Swanson play, and if Daniel's out a while, do you have confidence in the fact he started, obviously, a lot of games for Detroit? That's a tough position to get thrown in there, especially when, you know, when, when a newer guy to our program, and then all of a sudden you get you – know, he's t- t- taking reps in practice, but – and then all of a sudden you go against those guys, and then they're they're all over the place. And he, I, I thought he did a good job. I know there's some things that he's going to want to clean up, just some procedural things. But, you know, we brought him in here because we had confidence in what he could do as a player and as, as his intelligence is, is off the charts. And it's, you know, somebody that Jeremiah has been around before. Communication's easy with him. So – We'll we'll just kind of figure out what what's going on by probably by the end of the today, and we'll we'll move forward and figure out what's our best best really road to go down. Adam, uh, the key to extending drives mm-hmm. yesterday was it execution on your part, or was it New England stopping you? Let's just get a first down. I mean, I don't care how it happens. Same thing with the defense. I mean, get off the field. It's like that first first third down in the second half. I mean. I forget who it was. He catches the ball, but we strip it out. I mean, it looks ugly, but who cares? You know, same thing with the offense. Let's let's get positive yards. Let's have a third and two to five somewhere in the game. You know, when our only third and short is the last play of the half. You know, that's that's not good. The last two games have been not not as good as what we need in, on first and second down to where we're putting ourselves in position for third and short. Adam, what does uh, Tankersley have to do to get into the mix at corner? I mean, I think he's in the mix every week. We just got to just keep practicing, doing things right. I mean, the, the best way to, to always grab a coach's eyes is you just practice well. Just do it day in and day out and be consistent. The hardest thing is when, when you're up and down, that's when, that's when you see guys get frustrated and coaches get frustrated and the player get frust- frustrated. So that's where I think he can help himself is just be that same guy every day and, and find a way to make plays in practice. And, and then special teams come around, just be a guy that can be counted on. Uh, Wake and Quinn, how would you assess how they've done through a quarter of the way? I, I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'll worry about self scout at the end of the year, Barry. You know, right now, I mean, Cam's always does exactly what he always does. He does a great job setting the edge, and when he gets his opportunities to rush a passer, if he doesn't have two or three guys hitting him, he usually causes some kind of pressure. You know, I think Rob's, you know, he's doing, he's giving us everything he has. You know, I mean, I think there's. There's a couple of plays I'm sure he wish he could he could have had yesterday. You know, he had a great chance on that around and, and he did a great job of sniffing it out. And you know, I think it was it was it's tough enough to even get yourself in that kind of position to make that play. I would love to see him make the tag because that would have been a huge loss, but you know, I th- I think he's he's working to do everything right. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the interviews. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, and as always, if you did, please hit the subscribe button, you know, share it with your friends, post on Facebook, you know, whatever, hit the like button, and definitely leave me some comments, questions, concerns, anything you'd like to see or hear in the videos, um, you know, stuff like that. So definitely let me know. And of course, the most important thing is subscribe. 
Uh, so with that said, I'll see you guys soon and fins up.